back to part two of the uh, Cray 2 remake. Okay, so this part I failed on. Uh, I failed on this part too. So you're gonna fold far back so that will let you, which is right there. And you want. Uh, let me. You're gonna want the crease you're making to be from that point, and you want it to be uh, 90 degrees with that. So to do that, you want to make sure that this edge lines up with that crease edge, not crease edge, like that. It should look like that. And the same for this side. Pick it. And then make sure it looks like 90 degrees. There, make sure it's symmetrical. And then you're just gonna fold like this excess paper. You're gonna fold that all in. Like that. Okay, so now you're just going to have this tab here, and that's going to make the little rectangles. Okay, and then you're going to unfold that, and you're going to fold that edge to the crease. Unfold it, and then you're just going to sink, fold Uh, on that existing crease right here. Actually, it should be further in here. Like that. Okay, so then you're just going to use those existing creases and fold that tab right on itself. Uh, I'm going to do it on this side. Like that. And then you could do the same thing on this side. Like that. Okay, so now you're going to fold from that point to kind of like to pinch that and then fold from uh, that point to right there. Fold from that point to right uh, where it intersects that. You're gonna unfold that and then you're just gonna inside reverse along that uh, crease. And same thing for this side.
Okay, now you have done that. You're gonna flip that up. So if you hear the background noise, the garbage truck is outside. Okay, so now you're just gonna make your color change cockpit. And I'm using blank paper, so you won't see it. But if you're using color paper, then you can then just do these steps and you're gonna have a color change cockpit. So free that paper out. Oh, so I forgot to tell you guys. So you're gonna fold from far out as far as it will go, and you want the crease you're making to be perpendicular with that edge. And to do that, you when you fold that, you want that edge and that edge to line up like that. And then when you unfold it; it should be parallel. And then you free up that chalk paper. Fold that, open that, lift it, and push it on that, and then right away to fold that. So you just have this flap that stands up. And as if you're using color paper, you can see that this flap is different color from this here, from the body. But right here should be the same color as that right there. And I'm gonna squash, fold it. Right down. I'm gonna, re I'm gonna reposition myself. And uh, you're going to make a crease along that edge while folding in on that crease. And then just make a new crease like that. And you're just shaping your color change cockpit. It's no big deal. And then you're going to just flatten everything out. Crease it sharply. Like that. Flip it, take this, and spread squash. Like that, and then you gotta fold it down, fold that right in. While you're still here, you're gonna take that to that intersection. And uh, just please, please watch it. Like, please, because if you guys thought you made that clean too, you didn't, so. And then you fold that down too, but when you do that, I kinda like to open it up and fold in on that. And then uh, just like that, because if you were to fold all of it down, it'd kind of be thick. Uh, maybe move that crease like that. Okay, so before we do anything else, before I forget, actually, you're going to fold this tip. You're going to fold it in. Make sure that that tip lines up with that edge. And to determine how much you're going to fold it in, you're going to fold it in where, let me just make the crease. So you're going to fold it in to where, you see the tail fin on this side, it kind of sticks out. So if you're to extend that line, you're going to fold it to where 
that uh, this here, that line edge, you want to intersect that edge and you just got to fold that right up to there. And I can explain that, but I think I explained that way better in my other tutorial on this. But uh, the edge now should be parallel to uh, that crease, the center crease. So make sure we first that, that, and then I'm gonna fold this in half to check if it's par uh, if it's symmetrical, really. And it is. Everything looks symmetrical except for the tail fins. Uh, yeah. But that's okay. Okay, so now you're going to open that up and you're gonna make a crease from that point to as far as it will go. Which is right there. And then you in my other video I'm I just pre-creased it and I kinda like squash folded it. You don't want to do that because it, your nose won't be reinforced. You're going to it's kinda like trial and error. You're going to fold it over in a way. Let me just make the crease. Uh, I'll make the crease and then I'll tell you what I did. So you want to fold it over in a way that when you fold it over here, it's going to bubble. So you're going to flatten it and you want that edge to really line up with the center crease. And that's really going to be like trial and error. Okay, I'll just show it to you. Um, this side like that <sighs> okay so now you're gonna flip it so it looks like that and you're going to fold this section right into thirds One third, fold that right over along itself. That's two thirds. And then you're gonna flatten it. And sometimes this here pops out, so just stick it right in. So it should look like that. And then you just repeat that on this side right here. And then you flip that right back in. Then you tuck it in if it came out like that and then you're going to fold that back on itself make the it's going to be thicker it's just reinforcing the nose okay so now you're going to make a crease from that point down to that walking and what i kind of like to do is i kind of like to do like this little area first so fold that up And then if you were to extend that, it would touch that. And actually, there's a crease right there already. Wait, is there a crease? Wait. No, there's not a crease. You just do it. Just trial and error as well. There's no crease. So crease that. And 
and then you could do the same thing for this side. Sorry about that, my sister's talking. Okay, and so look like that. Make sure that the crease is parallel. I mean, it's symmetric. Bro, am I getting that wrong? So look like that. Okay. So now you're going to just uh, jet fold the model from um, wait, let me from that crease down to the locking uh, mechanism. I wanted to apply a pressure on it to really make the crease sharp. Like that. And the nose is pretty small compared to other planes on my channel. So. Just insert that. Sorry if you guys can't see. We're going to insert that right in. Fold it over. And then you're going to swivel that out. And this will form a strong logging mechanism here. And then you're going to take that and you're going to tuck it in. So I recommend like nine and a half sheet paper, it's common probably, when you're folding this plane. Uh, I don't know why I'm saying this right now, but and then eight and a half when you like perfect it. But the thing is I am using eight and a half because I don't have copy paper or foil, or foil paper and I'm kind of Begging my parents to buy me a commie paper that's like 13 inches. And I don't know if that's going to work. Okay. So then fold that up. And uh, don't consider this a finished F22 Raptor yet. Because uh, you're going to have to kind of... Because uh, you're going to have to uh, make the air intakes and engines and all that other stuff. Okay, fold the wings up, fold them out. So before you're gonna finish, before you finish, you're going to, if only I had my tweezers here. I couldn't find my tweezers. Just get a good grip on that and just pop it out. So get a good grip, pop it out. Okay, and then that should line up with that. Okay, fold it down, fold it up. Okay, so I kind of want it to have be folded up. And then you're going to take out these tabs you folded in. Like that. And then you're going to stick uh, it right in to that pocket. So really, as you guys could see, if you were to compare this to the, I think it was the Dassault Mirage 2000, uh, the, uh, the, 
the uh the color change cockpit here is actually reversed because on the Dassault Mirage 2000, this part here is coming up. On the Dassault, that part is coming up, but it's actually tucked into the model now. So, yeah. Okay, and I'm just gonna pre-crease it. So fold from that point and fold to about right there. So pre-crease. And then you're gonna inside reverse fold that in. Uh, actually, I'm gonna pop that out and I'm gonna make the crease further, like that much, because that's still locked. Okay. And then you're going to push and push. Okay, and then you're going to start to just just start. So just put in a locking mechanism again, and then take that tab and fold it back. I'm going to lock the fuselage. So fold that out. I'm going to take that and you kind of have to push it up. Okay, fold it down. Uh, I don't like how that's right there, but that's the only one to make the iron takes. Okay, and you're going to take that right here, take the engines and fold them over. The garbage truck is back. Like that. Put the tail fins over. Open the uh, air intakes here. So push in. Like that. And then you could do same thing for this side. Sorry if you hear the background noise, the garbage truck is back. It's like the movie. Garbage truck's back. The sequel. Okay, uh, sorry about that. I'm getting carried away. And here is a finish. F-22 Raptor 2.0. My favorite plane. Realistic geometry. Color change cockpit. Air intakes. That's, these are like the best intakes I've ever made. Uh, tail fins, afterburners. Reinforced wing. Reinforced nose. And... Yeah, hope you guys enjoy folding the 2.0 version of the F-22 Raptor.